So what I'm going to do here is use science to rank up her skin tone perfectly. And how I'm going to do that is show you the numeric system and how it works. So when you, you're stumbling around looking for a flesh tone, you can actually find flesh tone pretty easy. Let's sample flesh tone on this picture and let's go into its number structure. Let's look at the RGB value and let's look at the black value that corresponds with it. Right now I'm looking at 236, 196, and 171. Okay, let's go sample one over here. 192, 145, 115. Over here. Anywhere I sample, I see this formula showing up. Okay, and the formula is this. There's always going to be more red than green, and there's always going to be more green than blue. Okay. Hmm. Okay, very very observant. And if you look at the black value, it's always going to be at a very high ratio if there's no shadows in your picture. The minute I introduce shadows to the mix and say not 90 but 50, I get a real dark shadow color corresponding to the first color I picked. All right, let's see how this works. Um, let's first take and make a couple layers. This layer, let's duplicate it. And now let's cut out the background. I do that by using the magic wand tool, hold shift a few times in the background to capture all this really fine gradient, and then just hit the delete key underneath the eject key on the map, Mac. Okay, good. Next, what I want to do is kind of play with color just for a second. Let's say I want to put the background as something that looks nice for her. And I'm going to choose a couple colors here in the eyes. Okay, so I'm going to choose this color and I'm going to switch it and choose maybe this green. Okay, good. In the background, what I want to do is now lay down a gradient by clicking and holding in this area, going to gradient, and I can choose to lay a gradient down like that. Okay, and I want the reverse of it, so I'm going to choose this. There we go. And if I want perfect opacity, which I do, there we go. Nice. Now, doesn't that look nice already with just her eye corresponding to this background? So much better. Better than white. Okay, now. Uh, what do I do with her? Well, let's see. What I want to do is set up a scenario of design where here I hold command and click on her and go to this layer and paint some RGB values in here. So first off, what I do is grab her skin tone. Okay, now this is her skin tone now. And what I want to do, what would be a faster, better way to do this, is show you how to do it in RGB to begin with, right? Okay, let's just blindedly go into blue and show you what blue does to the skin. So I'm just choosing a random color blue. A little on the dark side. And the darker it is, the better it's going to turn out. So I'm going to choose right about in here. And that's going to be mid-tone. Okay. So we'll get 50% blue right there. And go in here to a brush and paint this on. If you put blue up against skin, what happens is you will get, on overlay, a zombie. And it's a purple zombie, but then again, the higher level of concentrated black in there will yield more and more zombiness. So if I go up higher on this, I get a little more purple going on. And if I go down here, I get more of a human tone. 
Okay. So as long as I'm staying within the blue ratio and then kind of introducing this color to her, I get this real kind of dead husky skin going on. Okay. Now, what happens if I do that with green? Let's go in here to this layer and do the same thing. If I go to green and start introducing like a mid-tone green to her. And let's go to overlay. Okay, really bad. Okay, jaundice type deal. But if I introduce a dark gray to it, or dark green, I get kind of a really nice tan. Green is a complement to the skin. Green is a complement. Blue is an uncomplement. Okay, so the, the. So our last color is red. How does that fit into the equation? Well, red, again, somewhere in the darker color region. And in here, what I'm going to do is just lower this down to overlay. And you can see super red, flaming hot type of sunburn effect. Okay. Now, the mixed bag between these is I can almost turn out perfect skin because I know the formula to skin. I know if I look at the number system on here that there's always going to be a little bit more red than green and a little bit more green than blue. Okay, so if I take that same concept and go in here and say, well, opacity to maybe, how about, 35 or 40. Let's go 40. And this one I'm going to go maybe to 20. And this one I'm going to go a little lower. Wow. That's a nice complement of skin, right? And if I copy these and or just go layer group layers, I now have a switch that I could turn on and off. And I was able to give her a tan. On to the next video, I'll show you some more cool things.